Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, today is not going to be some normal sovereign citizen video that shows the results of the stupidity of the average sovereign citizen. No. Uh, this video is going to be uh, straight from a guru's mouth on uh, how to avoid uh, repo men and the banks. So, this is going to be a lesson in fraud from a fraudster himself. Actually, more of a sovereign citizen fraudster. So, just keep in mind that what this guy's saying can and will get you into a lot of trouble. So, don't follow any of his advice. Just pay close attention and remember that this guy is not looking out for your best interests. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yo, what's going on, family? How y'all doing? And what I came to realize, right? Yes, go on and tell us your infinite wisdom on how to deal with these people and uh, avoid jail time for doing it. I mean, uh, that would certainly be nice. There's a lot of banks and a lot of repossession companies starting to get smarter. And I'm going to tell you why, right? So, y'all might not know, I'm subscribed to a, um, a repossession group uh, on Facebook. They, they, they're a big group, right? It's like, I want to say... Two, 200,000 people on there. I don't, don't misquote me on that, but I know it's a whole lot of people, right? Now, they come up with so many different strategies on how to repossess vehicles, right? And I just want to give a lot of you guys insight. Now, this is some crazy stuff, right? And I'm going to let y'all know. Did y'all know, you know, when y'all be getting calls like, hey, you got warranty on your vehicle, come in for a free oil change or stuff like you know, when, when a company call you or send you letters in the mail to say, check uh, in, you know, because you might have something messed up on your vehicle. Those are actually the repossession companies. <laughs> is this is this just paranoia or something like that? Because I used to have a uh, my car dealership called me all the time for this kind of thing, but I was always on time and paid my stuff. Maybe you're just being a little bit paranoid. But hey, I guess that comes with the territory of being a uh, sovereign citizen scumbag guru. Working with the uh, with working with the actual dealer who sold you the vehicle. So say if say a Ram sold me a truck, right? Ram dealer called me, say, hey, hey, Mr. Williams. Do you want to come in today? Um, you have a free oil change. <laughs> and they are pretty much used as a tactic in order to get your vehicles. And it's another tactic that i really seen that is kind of scary. That if you green, meaning you don't really know much and you're not really street smart, they're going to get you. So another thing that banks use is they pretend to be a... Um, they pretend to you know, to do a, to check functionality on the vehicle. They'd be like, hey, we work for this company. The bank just want to know if the engine running, if the car's still in good shape. You know, that we ain't trying to repossess your vehicle. We pretty much going to uh, give you an extension if you let us perform and to see if the vehicle is in good standing. These people, these people knocked on the people's door. They brought an assistant driver with them and said, hey, that's just a student. Don't worry about him, right? And the people took the vehicle out the garage and let the dude do a test drive around the corner and the other car that was with him drove off right behind him, took the vehicle just like that. You cannot be stupid when it comes to understanding how repossessions work. Look, I understand that there's some people out there that uh, are behind on their car payments for whatever reason. But this guy right here is actively trying to teach you uh, something about how to avoid getting your vehicle repossessed by the repo men and the banks. Now, the best way to do this is to just pay your damn car payment instead of just saying that the banks have no jurisdiction over you at all or anything of that nature that ends up getting you in, put into court later on. Now, 
another thing that the bank sharpened up on is a lot of times we under the impression that oh we went three four months without paying the banks can't find us most of the time the bank's gonna find you right they usually wait if they don't repossess you within the deadline i mean the time where say if you go into default status that'd be usually two three missed payments they will wait all the way until it's time to almost charge off the vehicle to take your vehicle i'm gonna tell you what that mean now when you miss two three payments they require you to let you come back up into your payments you know your usual payments so if you miss two three payments you just got to pay back two three payments but if you miss five payments they could consider that as breach of contract and they can take your entire vehicle right and what they'll tell you is the only way you can get the car back if you pay them in full meaning you can't make the payments back you got to make the full one in payment that happened to two of my students it got all the way to the point where they're about to get it charged off and they took the vehicle now partially is their fault because they driving around with state plates and every time the repossession truck scan their plates they see that they up for repossession so that's a big downfall on them us nationals we in the private so we drive around with what and there you go the whole crux of his argument the whole point to try to entice more people to come in by showing them that the sovereign citizen movement is the way to go. Hey, I'm a sovereign citizen state national. Therefore, I don't get pulled over and I don't have to deal with all this BS. Yeah, right. And just how many of your so-called students have had broken windows due to your teachings? How many times have they been pulled out of cars? How many t times have I seen it on YouTube where people play these sovereign citizen games and end up getting pulled out of the car like that? Countless times. I don't know how many times. And yet here you are, knowing that your stuff is BS because you know what you're talking about is bound to get somebody uh, taken out, and yet you continue to do this, leading your sheeple down the path of complete and total destruction. Private plates. So we do a scan, we ain't gonna be able to know. You get what I'm saying? Now, um, I just wanted to share that insight because a lot of us don't know that a lot of banks are, are smart enough with this whole thing. Trust me, it's over millions of people on the repossession list. And the bank's snatching them easy, left to right, left to right. But us nationals, we can stay, we can stay very discreet because it's kind of hard to find someone who's traveling around with private plates. Since you don't got state plates, it's not connected to the VN. You get what I'm saying? So just know that, you know? So just keep that in mind and make sure that you had your vehicle until it get, re I mean, until it get charged off. I'm out. Yeah, following your advice is a sure way to end up with either in jail or and or with very bad credit later down the long down the line where nobody wants to deal with you and you have to go uh stealing credit card numbers and other people's identities which is what a lot of you sovereign citizens do already anyway steal people's identif identities and try to ruin their lives so if you guys want to report this guy, feel free to do so. I know I'm going to do it for spreading such misinformation. At any rate, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.